Hey kids, uh, hey, it's uh, Tiny Friday. It's also, we have hit the, uh, every Friday our community radio station has a show called Playing Dead. And they just happen to be playing my favorite Grateful Dead song of all time. But, uh, uh, so in any case, Orange, you glad you have tuned in. Um, we're gonna, we get a lot of questions about single-sided actuation on our clamper disc brake versus dual-sided. So I'm gonna address that issue uh, right now. And um, the first thing I would like to point out is this is a disc rotor off of a car. And motorcycles are the same, or they look different, but they're essentially the same. Uh, they're made of cast iron and they are very stiff. They do not bend. No bending. Uh, this is a typical rotor. Now there are some with a uh, carrier, but this is very typical. This, this is bendy. This bends really good. I can bend this with my bare hands. So, uh, now we'll move on to why we did it single-sided. Okay, so uh, we want to talk about Single-sided, which we manufacture with a flexible rotor versus the double-sided. This is made uh, by, I guess you could call them a competitor. They're in the bike industry. They're very well known. They make a, they make a good product. Um, what I want to point out is, first of all, humans love symmetry. It's balanced. It's not one side is bigger than the other side, which can be stressful because what happens if it falls over? So, um, so we're just naturally, we like symmetry. So that's probably why we get this question. But in this case, we have this break and I would like to point out that this distance versus this distance. This is the side by the spokes uh, between the, the rotor and the spokes. This is the side on the outside. This is where our mechanism is. If we were gonna put this me mechanism over here, it would hit the spokes. In fact, the wheel wouldn't even turn. Uh, it would also be a lot heavier. Um, so you're saying, we'll just make it half as big and then you put two of them and it's the same amount of power doesn't quite work like that because if you make things smaller they're much less rigid which means these two halves spread apart when you apply pressure and this is the crux of all disc brake design is your caliper you want it stiff you don't want it to spread apart because you're putting all that pressure in there and your calipers are spreading apart uh, so that explains part of it uh, now if we put it on here backwards uh, let's see yeah that's just um, that's just not gonna fly so the main point I'm making here is you can't put all of this stuff on this side because there is no room so it's actually better we feel for a more powerful brake stiffer caliper to have single-sided, super bomb-proof, smooth, bearing, reinforced, uh, one-sided caliper and have a flexi rotor because the flexi rotor is not a problem. And so that explains the great mystery of why we have single-sided and why we don't make dual-sided brakes. And have a great weekend. <laughs>